Well, welcome back to a great show on YouTube. I am Fry King, and we're playing some more Vampire. I just wanted to heal her up a little bit. Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. It's one person I don't want to suffer. I ate some. I had it. No choice but to eat some people because it's not Harriet Jones that was hard. It's that stupid last uh, person you have to fight, the Blood Queen or whatever the hell her name was. She wouldn't be so bad if we just couldn't get this guy here to take his stupid medication. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do guys? I was going to want to level up my guns real quick. Might have to use guns on that Red Queen. Bear with me. One person that might watch this, hope you enjoy it. I wish I didn't have to eat. Oh yeah, of course we... Swansea is back. I don't know why it's not showing her. Helm, I mean. Edgar Swansea. 6,000 XP. I wonder if it would... No, I won't because I don't have level 6. Level 5, he's level 6 now. So I've been killing people that mainly deserved it, but last night I had no choice but to kill a couple of people that didn't deserve it. Not happy with it, but you know, it happens. Milton's shotgun. Yeah, we might want. We already did it now. Damn, look how much damage that sucker does. That should be good. I'll probably have to use that. See, generally it's not going to allow me to just love. I wish it would, but I can't hold it. 82, that's crap. Alberts. Oh, yeah, that's a that jag off that we killed earlier. Milton. I don't want to use Milton's gun. Poor bastard had to kill him and his girlfriend. There's a, another one, Christina. That was in, you know, up there. You know, the one that's. We talked to her that was um, complaining about how she has to eat rats and everything, you know. I ate her, and she's actually grateful when you do it. There's no way I'm getting good at me. Man, I feel bad about having to eat so many people, but this game forces you to do it. Unless you're good. I mean, I'm a noob. Better go home, sir. Are you bloody stupid? What do you just call me, dude? You are stupid for calling me, so come and fight him! We have to stop it! Fight your master! Fight your master, please! He's right there! Oh, fine, run! Just run, you dumbass! Stop! Run, you dummy! You don't want to fight, you just want to blow them! Jeez, I would love it if you would fight back, but you're not good at fighting. When we were fighting that stupid Red Queen yesterday, he kept doing this crap when I was trying to get him to take a stupid injection. Dumbass. Where are you at? Did he die or something? Ah. Jeez, fight back, dude. You're just a level 32. You're level 36 now. You were level 32 yesterday, though. Level 33, I mean. 32. Harriet Jones is level 35. Hopefully she didn't level up. Let them run off. Stop Harriet Jones. The doubt. See 
Damn, I hate it when they, ah, this is even worse than when the camera angle switches on you. I hate it when games do that though, when you're fighting an enemy. You know, you're, you're fighting an enemy, and the next thing you know, jeez, all you want is for your character to take medicine, and you won't do it, just keep striking. Hell is that? I think we're going the wrong way. I don't remember ever going that way. You don't see me. You don't see me. Damn, she sounds pissed off. One thing I hate, one of the things I hate is finding your way around in this game. It can be quite difficult. Damn it. Of course, I could have just went, took this road and went up there. That would have been smarter, but I was too stupid to do that. Now we gotta figure out how to get to that side. Probably won't survive the first fight. Oh, oh, you can't use it. Oh, what am I doing? That's dumb. Run, 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 Dookie Ho, run. There are other ways to get to the docks. Run, run, free. Critical, it's always critical. Should make all these people taste so delicious if you didn't want me to eat them. Edwina Cox, poor thing. Annoying little critter, but. Hello again, Miss Cox. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, you might want to be careful about that lady. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? Giving out for free? You'd make a poor businessman, Dr. Reed. I ate your boyfriend. Perhaps I'll eat I you would. too. Please, take this. You will feel better. Thank you. But don't expect me to owe you anything. Don't worry about it. I ate your... I'll leave you day. to your planning and scheming, Miss Cox. Well, I did eat your husband too, didn't I? It was delicious. Dyson. Dwayne. I thought I'd say come back and eat everybody. I mean, I'll do it if I have to. See, I wish this game had New Game Plus, so you could just play the whole thing at your level, and everyone starts over. Or you get a choice, everyone starts over, or everyone starts at your level. I choose everyone starts over at level 1. That way I don't have to eat anybody. That is the only way a noob like me would ever be able to not have to eat anybody. Now to find where that was, which I have no idea where exactly we'd be at. Doesn't give you any indication of where to go. Stop Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones is not the hardest one. Shh. Now one behind you. He's already dead. That's maxed out, that's why. Damn, you could have did this is what I wanted you to do. Now you do that. Oh, vermin. You know where the entrance is? You're almost there. Somewhere around here. 
Stop that, put that away so you can run faster, you dummy. So that it doesn't give you any help or any indication of where it's at. There it is. Now finding your way there is a pain in the anal. Might just let them die one. No, I can't. Dang it, that's what I hate. You're going to lose the blood thingy. Don't need it against Harriet Jones. Only thing you need is spiky thingies. And then hopefully he moves out of the way fast enough before that garlic gets him. How the hell do they have garlic is beyond me. Come on. Come on. Come on. The amount of XP you get from the scissors you choose to embrace is directly linked to the blood quality. Really? Come on. Come on. There's no one alive in here. And what should we could have beaten it yesterday if this idiot had done what I wanted. I just wanted to take his little medicine and he wouldn't do it. Man, he's just taking your medicine. Like a good little dumbass. Oh, Alright. Good game though. Dummy. You were. I wonder if old Bridget's dead now. I don't need a rat yet. Good job. Now knowing which way to go here is not the easiest. That's the one. This whole area is like a puzzle. Not there. You will end up here if you go the wrong direction. You'll end up doing a full circle. Why does it branch off? It branches off eventually. Of course, I may have passed it. My dumb luck. I think it did do that. No, it didn't. I wonder if we're going to have a long talk with his maker again. Here we go. Now we follow the blood. And maintenance stores. excited about this. I hate boss fights. I really don't care for boss fights, too, especially when they make it this hard. Star, oh, come on! That's cheating! You just immediately start that. Move, move, move out of the stupid bitch's way. Change it, what the hell? It won't let me do it. Man.
but it won't let me do this. Damn it. Man, I could beat him easily, her easily with this. Forget it, man. Shoot. Ah, oh, you idiot. Can you just stay locked on her? Damn it, we got no choice but to do it this way. Alright, I'm hoping to use a gun because that's actually the best way to deal with her. Move, move, move! Oh crap! Fuck a dick, bitch. Shoot, shoot! I hate this crap because you got it. Depending on his abilities, he won't unequip the stupid axe. Man, we could deal with her easily. Take your medicine! You're dead. Thanks for not taking your medicine, bitch. Thank you. Thank you, you dumb fuck. Thank you. Good job, you idiot. You didn't take your medicine. Good freaking job. If you had done it, we probably would have beaten her. Good job, you dumbass. I'm glad you're dead. Damn it. Idiot won't do what I want. <laughs> Can't get him to use a shotgun, which would have taken a lot of her health off. Can't get him to do nothing. Oh man, I'm trying to look it up, but the stupid cell phone is not screwing me up. <laughs> And look at that, we get to lose all that blood. The hell is he at? Okay. The hell? Oh yeah, you're trying to screw me over somehow. Where the hell did you go, dumbass? Don't turn around. <clears throat> Damn, I have no idea. Oh, that is the right way, is it? I don't know. Damn it, you idiot. I'm not happy with this idiot. This is gonna be hard as hell. It shouldn't even be difficult, but this idiot won't do what I want him to do. At least we got full health. Damn, I'm full. We gotta eat some rats too, though. There's some juicy rats. I have this. Just shut the house. for blood. Too bad you don't have this thirst to be able to fight this is and take your health. More should be. What the hell didn't disappear? I have this. There's another one. Thirst for blood. Damn, he's not even getting much blood from him anymore. Should already be full. Forget it, we'll do some more. There's more later. We can't keep coming back. This guy's gonna piss me the hell off. That's why I don't like boss fights, because a lot of times with characters, you know, they'll keep doing this crap and this while you're begging, just begging the idiot to 
take the me take the medicine. Go turn. into her too damn this idiot had taken the medicine man we could beat her if only this idiot would heal damn if only this little bastard was willing to heal himself Might eat more people because might they just eat everybody, you know? Screw it. Where's the rats that are up here? I have this thirst for blood. Did y'all see it last time how all of a sudden he got down there and then Harriet Jones hits him? I was a good Ew, you don't need to be seeing that. Move, 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 baby, girl, move! Jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Main hand. Change. Is there a weapon that we do have that's strong that's... I should probably say, increase that, though. Now we do that. Hate to do it, but we can always just, you know. Come on, Dookie. Two bullets. Oh, crap. Damn it. How intensely, how irredeemably are you all going to suffer now? Okay, we only got two bullets. So you know what that means. I hope this idiot does what I want. Oh! Move, 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 Test not your friend. Oh, she can heal, can't she? Move back, 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 dummy. Move. Damn, move, you idiot. Move, move, move. Move. I know, I know. She's cute. You think she's cute, but she don't like you. Oh, oh my god. Man, I hate this. I hate boss fights. Gotta make sure she's gonna stay still before you use your powers. Because... Damn it! Move! Move! Just move! Half her health is gone and I hate this because... Move! Move! Don't go too nuts! Don't go too nuts! You don't got... Oh crap! Look at her powers! Let's just be buds! Damn. Damn it! Come on, lady! You wanna make babies? Me and you? No, that's not... Damn it! <laughs> I mean, you know... Oh. 
Oh, that's right, you don't got too much you can do. Hit me, please! Okay, thank you. Good job for that. I would love to. Move! Damn, move, 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 move out your girlfriend's way! Where is she at? Damn you idiot! Move! Eight more seconds, but you gotta make sure she's standing still too though. See? Come on you idiot! Move! Move! Don't ever go crazy! Don't ever go crazy you idiot! Yeah, I know. Damn it! Go, please! Nothing worse than this part. Damn it! What the hell are you doing, you idiot? Where's she at? Move! 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 Oh, she leveled up too. Finally! <laughs> no one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. I mean, if I wasn't such a noob, and this character could do things better. Still a good game. Damn good game. I need better skills, though. So, it's over then, young Ekon. Uh-oh. I'm glad to see she you survived. put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over. I have avenged my poor Mary. Yes, you prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you, really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. 
Well, we can always come back to old Bridget if Lady Ashbury rejects our dumbass. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. <laughs> oh, come on, please For don't be. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for for blood remains red like hate red like hunger red as life and death passing from one immortal to another from predator to victim patiently biding its time to rise again london has been cleansed for now but there's a simmering hatred fear and old grudges when will we succumb mortals and immortals alike the next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Damn. This is actually a pretty good game. Nice story and everything. Just the fighting can be improved. That's a, a few other stuff like being able to find your way to the city needs to be improved. A few other things. I think we often think about. Oh, he there's a nice car. I've been thinking in all these other videos. He got the nicest car. Took Lady Ashbury's car. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Yep. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Chapter 7, Healthy Carrier. Uh-oh, that trick. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the icors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster has been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into scowls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep. Now that enough people have suffered, is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. What are you to her? I'm probably going to have what to are you to her? separate the chat. Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother, my dreadful and sour-tempered mother. 
She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Damn. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will become of the vampire hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. Uh oh. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Uh oh. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Okay. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now too? Have I not already answered that question? No. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son. As is William Marshall.
This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you should meet one night. Wow. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Damn. Find a way to enter the castle. Oh, great. Well, first off, before we start this, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and watch my other videos. They ain't gonna miss daylight. Don't forget to uh, check out the description for a link to my website where I sell ebooks for 99 cents. I'm going to upload this and then do this chapter by itself.